Hello, hello guys. Um, today I'm gonna start my ArcMap JS tutorial for the original design course. Um, last year uh, we're doing this JS tutorial and students learn JS uh, through SRE online training. Um, it's you know, it's been like um, that training course has been used for like several years. It's old, and a lot of function doesn't work. And also, students complain about it because it takes too much time, not that efficient. I, I and I, I feel the same. So I decided to make a course or a tutor tutorial course that is really basic, and to make all you guys prepared, uh, get ready. Um, to do some JS related landscape design uh, and especially for landscape architect architecture work so I will delete some like um, uh, skills or techniques that's not relevant so you can just use it and and do do the work in our studio okay so let's start okay um, when we talk about um, GIS, um, what GIS mean is that GIS is geographical information system. Um, there is like a, I think the major difference between GIS and the other software you are using or technology you are using, uh, like AutoCAD, SketchUp, all those kind of things. Um, GIS is more about the content. Um, it, to me, JS essentially is a database. Because what they do is like the like these slides. Um, we have a geometry, um, just like in AutoCAD, you you have lines, um, shapes, points, and images, um, all kind of you know geographical content. They can they can represent that. And you can work with that, but at the same time, you also in GIS you also able to work with the content information. Um, for example, these points are not simple points. In these points, they will store or save information in these points, and you can work with it. So that's to me that's the essential um, feature. Of JS, and that's why JS is powerful to us. So, you, I, I believe most of you already have uh, ArcMap. Why we use ArcMap is because ArcMap is like the major platform of JS. It's like um, the AutoCAD in the architecture, landscape architecture, um, engineer profession. Uh, everybody use AutoCAD. It's like the standard in the profession. There are other software in JS, like a QGIS, like um, BAP Map or something like that. But ArcMap is like the most used and the most standard software. So that's why we're learning ArcMap. Okay. So to open ArcMap is actually really easy. All you can do is just click the shortcut card. So, for example, this is a short card. You just double click it and wait. And it's, it's a big, it's a big software. So, first time you open it, it will take some time. But since you open it, you know most of the functions doesn't take that long. Okay. So this is software. When you look at software, it's uh, it basically have four sections. One. It's like the you know this is a toolbar, um, this is a table of contents. This in the middle is workspace, and on the right is catalog. Okay, so as so you know, like um, like like other software, we put overalls, drop down menu, um, and um, work with the file and orientation. And this is a table of contents, and uh, this is like the catalog spaces and we'll talk, we'll talk about it in detail later okay so so this is this this 
Um, so how to open GS data on our command? Um, the first thing when talking about open GS data, the first thing you need to notice is catalog. So GS is different uh, with our other software that you you open file by like uh, just do double click in the Windows folders folder. So we, for example, so this I think regional design database. This one is like it's a database I, I gave to you all, right? So what you need to do just um, so you cannot just open just you know open any folder in here and double click. That will not work. Um, you can basically you cannot you, you cannot open any kind of file in this database. By just by double click, so what you, what you have to do is use the catalog and use folder connections. Okay, For, remember this one really important folder connections. That's the first step when you're working with JS data. Okay, in this studio especially, uh, we, for example, right click. We're gonna do just right click, collect your folder, and find out the database. Okay, in this case, I said in regional design database. Okay, when you click OK, you will show up, and then we open open it. Then you have you will see all the elements in the database, and it's all they can recognize it. Basically, it's like the link link between Windows and GIS. And to open the file and to show the files, really, really easy. What you can do, just simply, for example, public schools, I just drag into the workspace. And what you can find out is that when I drag to the workspace, in the table of contents, it shows this layer. So table of contents only show the data that was in the workspace. Okay, that is showing the workspace. However, you can hide, you can show, you can hide, you can show, but only the ones you drag in, okay? So let's drag more, like highway. That's here, and uh, let's do another one. And also county. There you go. So that's all kind of data, right? So that's how you open your data, okay? Pretty good. Pretty cool. And um, tools for orientation, um, you know, to orientation, um, it's pretty easy. Like other software, use the mouse, scroll your mouse, you know, back and forth. So you can zoom in and zoom out by doing that. And the other way was sometimes if the map is too big, really, really big, and um, just too big, and you, you just don't know where to go. You can click this one, full extent. In this case, if you click full extent, it will immediately zoom to the extent that is all map that's showing all the map in the in the workspace. Okay, it's it's actually really handy. Okay, and you can see here that's the scale. You know, it, it will like uh, change in real time what kind of scale you are using. Um, and the other way was you need to remember was sometimes for example I'm looking at the roads right um, but I want to looking for the schools but it's so hard to just drag and find the schools so you should some you, all you can do is just right click and click zoom to layer really this is a really good tool I was using it all the time um, just zoom to layer, then it will zoom to this specific layer and show all the data in this specific layer. Okay, for example, I zoom to the highway, zoom to the highway, when I zoom to the county of boundary, county of boundary, right? Zoom back to school, zoom back to school. Really handy, okay, really convenient. Um, tools for getting information, um, this pretty overwhelms. 
Um, there's a tool called identify. For example, I want to know what is this point was. You just click. Then you will show. For example, in this case is it's an elementary school. You have this location. It's a regular school. Teachers and uh, you know school type like that. So all the information just use this one. Uh, and also you can measure. For example, I want to measure how far are these schools. It's 4.6 miles. You can change units from here, meters, kilometers, and you can also, so you can look at the area. In this case, like, uh, um, it's like 2.1 square mile. Okay, you can also change the, you know, units from here. The other way is you can find, you can go to specific coordinates, um, you know. You can you for example if some of you have like GPS data you can just you know enter the number and they will you know go to the points you want to go for example I just if I just like do some random um, let's just do some random ones like 10 20 you will guide me somewhere in the world I don't know even know but you click this one they will flash you will kind of, What's the position at this point? It I don't know where, where it was. Uh, it's somewhere in the world. Um, so then let's just go back to South Carolina. Zoom to layer. Then you, they will imid, immediately find your places. Okay. Okay. Um, the other thing was online. Was online based map. Uh, you what you can what you do is there is a tool called add base map. Okay, what you can do is just like uh, see this triangle, add data, click it and click add base map. Okay, if you click this one, you have a lot of choice. Choice, you know, as base map. It's a really good one to like, uh, you know, some if you want to do like um, base map for your site or. Do some research, something like that. I think this is a really good source. Um, you, in this case, let's just start with imagery. It's really fast. Okay, yeah. When you look at it, let me just hide this layers. So you see how it's like a Google map, okay? But the resolution of the map showing here is really, really high. Okay, it's, it was like, um, it's just better quality overall, over, over okay? Um, let's see here. Just better quality. So much better quality, okay? So please use this. And, you know, base map, have, and it's, I use the base map all the time because, um, you know the quality, and I need to reference. You know, and the other time, uh, other way is sometimes I need to find whether or not my data, for example, zoom to layer, whether or not the location of my data makes sense. For example, um, in this case, um, for example, if these are two points, I want to check whether or not it's right. So. Wait a minute. So yeah, it's right. This is definitely a school, and uh, I have two points down here. So yeah, this is this is ba online based map. Um, very last thing is is GIS data. So as we talked about before, every geometry have data, you know, saved in there, right? So so for example, for, for the public school, for for instance, you just what you do you just Open, right click, and in the content table of content, and right click and click open attribute table. So you will see here in this layer it has all kind all the data you need. Okay, like the names, the city. So you you will understand like uh, what kind of data you have in this layer specific layer. Okay, so that's a way to to learn from data. Okay. Um, 
also one thing about this one good thing about this is for example I'm interested about woodland elementary what you can do just double click and they will jump for example I think it's here they will jump to this school for you right see here it's selected change to blue okay the jump here or west of you elementary school then there you go so they will you know they will select for you and zoom to there so I think that's it for today um, um, take a break and see what we can do and see you next time thanks if you have any questions, let me know.